lives down I was called to reign on now Ministry in the world of life To the weak to give them strength To the blind to make them see Through Christ who strengthened me I am something, I am a light A royal priest to lonely nation Hear up God, so call me kingdom time you're welcome again to Kingdom Stars on Ogongo TV. Kingdom Stars is a show where you meet different drama ministers as they discuss about themselves. They share their testimonies with us. Please, I want you to subscribe to this channel. Yes, do that now. Subscribe now. And click the notification bell so that anytime we upload anything new, you will see it. I also want you to like our videos because if you subscribe to this channel and you click the notification bell and you like my videos and share them, it's an encouragement. So encourage me by doing this. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. Yeah, to the business of the day, Kingdom Stars. Our guest on today's program shall be I am Shuwoli Pulua Femi Aizi. I hail from Abe Okuta in Ogun State. Both my parents are from Abe Okuta, Okun State, but they reside in Lagos. I reside in Abe Okuta with my family. I'm married and we have a beautiful daughter. I'm a computer science graduate from the Federal University of Agriculture, Abe Okuta. Presently, by the grace of God, I am a drama minister and I am a professional photographer. I am the second child of six. For my parents, they all reside in Lagos with my parents. Growing up in my family was a mixture of boring and very interesting. Well, my parents say that I am the black goat of the family but I'm also the same person that makes everyone tick together in the family. My father is not a military man, but he acts like a military man. So most of us, or all of us, except for the last child, we don't really have a close relationship with our father. It's, we are all close to our mother. We don't really have a close relationship with our father. So whenever I'm home or growing up, I was always seen as you know this dramatic kind of person my whole life was like i'm always acting drama i'm always doing comedy i'm always you know at times it's it's difficult to bring together how i think about the things i do you know i can't even begin to mention those things but they are just things that are out of the ordinary you know so my life has always been filled with drama When I got into the university, I met someone. It's even funny to say that up until 2009, I didn't see myself in the drama ministry. I didn't see myself in the drama line. But I met someone when I gained admission into the university. His name is Odebo Samuel Uluwa Durutimi. Yes, he was the drama coordinator then. then you know, we met and somehow he brought me into the ministry. And that was how I got into the ministry. And by the grace of God, I think one of the things that, that has helped me as a man, as a human being, can be attributed to the fact that I'm in the drama ministry. The drama ministry has helped my life in a lot of ways. Everything I am now, even when it concerns my wife, my family, the things that I do, was brought out of drama ministry. 
So the ministry has helped me to define my purpose, that's helped me to define directions in my life, that's helped me make very good decisions, the right decisions. And I've never for one day had any negative thought about being in the drama ministry. and my mentor, it's funny to say because I also see him as my friend. He is Odebo Samuel Lua Durotime. He, he brought me into drama, so he made me understand and realize a lot of things. Almost everything I know, I mean apart from gaining experience along the way, almost everything I got to know in drama ministry was from him. Appearing on camera for the first time from him. Stage drama from him. You know, even getting closer to God from him, I mean, God really used that man for, for me. So, I can say he's my role model, I can say he's my mentor, I can say he's my brother, but most importantly, he's my friend, he's my very good friend. The first time I featured in a movie was in 2012. That was about nine years. Yes, 2012. And honestly, I can't remember the number of movies I have featured in. I can't, remember. I can't place a number. But below 100, above 50 years, below 100. But I can't place a number. The most challenging. Molola. <laughs> yes, that's the most challenging. And the challenge is that um, it's a little bit difficult to say. But I'll say it for the purpose of explanation. The challenge is that my wife and I are expecting a second child. You know, and looking at the script, swinging into that emotional state, you know how the script was, you know, losing a wife in the movie. You now at times, when I get into that emotional state, it somehow connects to my wife because it's relatable. So it's that emotional part that I see as a challenge. But I'm grateful to God that at every point in time that that challenge comes into play, God helps me to lift it. For the young ones out there who um, might be interested or will find themselves in drama ministry, I think what came as a stumbling block for me will be what I'll say to you is don't go after money. It is very, very, very important. I've had friends and family tell me that this drama ministry you want to be, you can't make money, you'll be very poor. I can remember a friend of mine telling me that word for word, that I'll be very poor. But I, by the grace of God, I'm not in the ministry to make money. I have a job of my own. I'm in photography, not out of passion. It is to make money. So whenever I have to be in drama ministry, or whenever I have to feature in movies, or when I, whenever I have to minister in drama, money is not my concern. Because the purpose of that is not to make money. It is an assignment. It is a purpose. So if you want to be in the ministry or if you find yourself in the ministry, just stick to that calling, stick to that assignment, stick to that purpose. Don't let money be your motivation. Don't let money be a stumbling block. Don't let money be your drive. I think that would be my advice for you. First of July is my birthday. Next few years, you should expect 
more of God for me, the drama ministry. I'm really hoping, praying, and working towards um, the expansion of the kingdom of God through drama ministry. One of the things I told God when I finished school was that any job that will make me not have time for drama ministry, God shouldn't give it to me. So when I, when I even had to make a decision of what I would do after school, I went for some interviews with some ridiculous pay, you know. I knew that full-time job wasn't for me. And part-time job too, I mean, I've had times that, I'm not saying it out of pride, but just for understanding, I've had times that I had to cancel jobs for locations. I had to cancel jobs for administrations. But we are still standing by the grace of God. So in the next few years, I'm even hoping that I'll be in drama ministry full-time and, you know, I will hand over photography to maybe one of my assistants and, you know, because souls are perishing and there are grounds to be won. God will help us. Oh, <laughs> my relaxation, what do I call it? Well, I relax most times watching movies, playing games. I play games a lot. I love to play games. I'm a football person, but you know, because of age, I've retired. So I play games now and watch movies more often. Power and might be unto the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Whenever I have, you know, drama administrations, administration in, administrations in church, and you know, or even just a normal prayer session, morning devotion, that song is always very constant. So I'll say that's my favorite song. Keep watching Kingdom Stars on Okongo TV. God bless you. Star. I was called to reign on now, ministering the world of life, to the weak to give them strength, to the blind to make them see, through Christ who strengthens me. I am something, I am a light, a royal priest to lonely nation, a hero of God, so call me kingdom time. Something I am alive, a royal priest to holy nation, a near of God, so call me kingdom star. He has promised me to be my shield, a dwelling place, and my help. I will wait on him till the end and carry his glory everywhere. Promise me to be my shield, a dwelling place, 